Hello, welcome to our classroom. I hope you can see me here. I'm not here to show you my face, but we're going to take some photos here at Iwaki Fukushima Beach. And we're going to show you how we edit our landscape photos. So let's go, join us. So as we await the coming of the sun, we found this patch of water going into the sea. And this is gonna be our shot. The camera is lowered down there, as you can see, and it's going to show this small stream of water going to the sea, actually to the Pacific Ocean, and that's going to be our composition. And let's see our, there you go, as you can see that is our, now we are at F16 right now, and then... 128 of a second and the sun is coming out so we're gonna take some photos now maybe let's go a little faster and here's the first shot and see this is just so glorious the sun is coming out out, out of those waves and the waves are quite high right now Luckily, it's it's not high tide, it's low tide here in this beach. So you can see the sun, so let me take another shot here at my Nikon Z6. And here is the shot. Now the sun is really shining so brightly now. So amazing. This is just beautiful. Let me take another shot with a quarter of the sun out now. There you go. And the sun is going up above the horizon right now. It's almost up there. It's almost at the tail end of its rise. And now that we've taken some shots, we're gonna go home and let's see how we edit these photos. I'm gonna choose a few photos for you. And then we are going to show you the basics of how we use the Affinity Photo. Again, this is a very, very affordable photo editing software. So let's go. And we are back here at our home workshop and we're going to show you how we edit our landscape photos using not the Adobe Photoshop or the Lightroom. We're going to use Affinity Photo. It's a good alternative to Photoshop and now we opened it and I've chosen three uh, particular photos that we're going to show you how to edit this one is the first one when the sun is about to rise and actually it's already rising and the other one is this one which is showing the sun already risen and I have a last one here which is a shot of my wife my boss and she's standing there and the sun is already up so we're gonna edit this three using affinity photo and usually when i start this i open the raw file and this one and it goes to the raw editing part this one here on the left it opens automatically and this persona they call it persona and on the right side here you can see the details the meta details of the raw file says the Nikon C6 is the camera used the lens is 70 uh, 24 to 70 f4 and then it says here the exposure 138 of a second and then I'm I was at f16 and ISO is 100 it even tells you the focal length here 25 millimeter usually I edit it on the basic you see uh, you can see here it's actually dark there's lots of shadows here shadows there because it was at f16 no I usually 
increase the clarity here on the right side move it to the right to show some more details and you can see there if I raise it up maybe this one 30% is good let me increase a little bit of exposure there you go and because it's a morning I wanted it to be more like uh, friendly bluish so you can see on the left side here this is the white balance tool now press it and then roll it to find the right white balance you wanted to show and this one is too warm it's warm still and I think this is a good one for me now I'm gonna have to raise a little bit of the saturation to explode some of the colors there you go and then I want to expose some more of the details on the shadow so I'm going to pull the shadows it's not responding as quickly because I'm recording the screen but now no, there you go so I think this is much better after we are okay with the looks we then push this develop there and it goes to another persona for more editing like cleaning some dirt there if you want to I'm gonna show you how this is the men tool now if you see something not worthy of being there you click this it's a small size because it's, this is a 24 megapixels I'm gonna have to make it bigger like this and then find the objects that I don't like for example let me zoom this a little bit and then you can see here something is sticking out I'll just click that and you can see it vanishes so it's as easy as that if you see some dirt you can remove it I think that's okay if we finish and if we're okay with it we go to export and then choose JPEG and then the quality at 100% and then export and you can choose which folder you're going to and we actually pre-chose the my documents and then just name it uh, sunrise one because there's another one coming and that's it it's exported now this one is a little if you can see the horizon something is wrong with the horizon so what I do is we go to the lens here on the right side now it's still processing for some reason there you go and then push the rotation to the right a little bit and check if the horizon is okay and that's fine and then go back to basics again oh, I like the color of this one actually I think I would like to increase however uh, the warmness of it so let's just put some warmness more here and it's more like it again uh, we push the clarity a little bit to show some of the details and then let's pull a little bit of the shadows and now there is some something here on this it's like a spot and we're gonna go again to this man tool and just make this bigger a little bigger and then just touch that up and then it vanishes we have this stick sticking out here so let's remove that one and it's smeared again so let's try again if we could do it a little better I think that's better now you can also use the clone the clone tool is this in which you choose the nearest color or the nearest image close to that one you are going to edit and 
copy it in just push the option and then click and then you can see here see yeah, the little island in is removed then you can just fine tune it let's go back just to show that it's okay and that's it it's ready again let's go back to this one and because it's already developed we go to export and then we put sunrise 2 and that's it this is my wife here now this is a bit tricky because I wanted to show a little bit more of her silhouette there to increase the exposure a little bit increase the exposure I think I need to pull out the highlights so I actually pulled the highlight all the way down and the highlights are just okay and now let's see a little bit if we pull out the shadows if you can see something and then give a little bit of clarity here I don't know you can put up a little touch of blue to consider that this is a morning shot that's too much that's too much let's go back a little bit now it's looking better a little bit and then let's increase the vibrance of this I think I'm gonna have to get back a little bit of shadow I think it's more dramatic this way it's like a tricolor shot and I think that's gonna be it now let's develop this so we can dehaze it and I want to do some r removal of haze now if you remove some haze this one you go to the filters here and then pull it out and then you can see here second to the last is haze removal you just click it then whatever is the default it will show you there and that's the result now if you want to compare it with the first one you can look here at this card you can press this and it goes side by side now this is the the haze version and this is the original version that you edited so which one do you like you can increase the strength if you increase it let's show see it's it's becoming unnatural and it's too blue I think I like the blue on this one you can increase the exposure if you want to but yeah I want to preserve the morning morning type so I think this is it and then if you are ready you supply and that's it you're ready again you go to file pull the export here and then be sure that it's in JPEG you can use other formats here you can even go to Photoshop PDF or PNG a GIF everything is here and then because jpeg is the lightest you just go to jpeg and ex export and that's it those are the photos that we edited so i want you to see them now